Hi everyone, for today's video I'm going to give my thoughts on Ahsoka. For those who don't know, Ahsoka is part of the Star Wars franchise and a spin-off series from The Mandalorian. And at the same time, it's a continuation of the animated series Star Wars Rebels. And basically the series follows Ahsoka Tano as she investigates an emerging threat to the galaxy. After the Empire got their asses kicked, and you may be wondering who is the emerging threat? None of other than Grand Admiral Thrawn. And basically Ahsoka, along with several other characters, have to stop him from returning to the galaxy far, far away. So now with that out of the way, so what do I think of this series? Well, I got mixed feelings about this. But first, let's start with the good. So what I liked about this series is that it made a lot of callbacks to the original trilogy, prequel trilogy, Clone Wars, and Rebel series. I especially enjoyed the performances of Rodazio Dawson as Ahsoka, the late great Ray Stevenson as Balin, and Iman Esfandi as Ezra Bridger, and David Tennant as Hu Yang, and Lars Mikkelsen was amazing as Thrawn. I also enjoyed seeing the Star Wars universe being expanded on, and the flashback in the world between worlds was amazing, especially seeing Anakin played by Hayden Christensen again, teaching us Ahsoka in live action was breathtaking, and seeing the live action Clone Wars was also amazing, along with seeing our boy Captain Rex in the flesh. I also like how this series focused on the fantasy aspect of Star Wars, not just on the Force, but also the magic parts. And not gonna lie, it was pretty cool to see zombie troopers. Don't believe me? Check it out. <laughs> Okay, so now, what didn't I like about the series? Well, there's a couple things. For instance, it was very slow-paced in the first couple episodes, as it's trying to catch general audiences and casual fans up to speed on what the hell happens after the events of Rebels and The Mandalorian. And if you're not a Rebels fan or a Clone Wars fan, you're going to be confused as fuck on what's going on. Also, while I did enjoy seeing our beloved characters in live action, personally, I think the show relies way too much on fan service. Like every week watching these episodes is pretty much saying, look, here's this character and here's that character. Well, every now and then it's okay, but it's just going on and on. Also, I wasn't a very huge fan of the portrayal of Hera and Sabine in this series, as I'm still not convinced about the performances, which is a shame because these characters were amazing in Rebels. Also, I was unhappy that we didn't get a lot of character development between Balin and Shin, which is disappointing seeing that Balin was a highlight of this series, and it was also the last performance by the late great Ray Stevenson who again did an amazing job as him. Another pet peeve I have is that we didn't get to see more of Thrawn being a literal threat because as a Star Wars fan, I know what he's capable of, but to general audiences, they don't know jack shit. They cannot fathom what this guy is capable of. And I also question his methods. Like seriously, you think using all those troopers isn't a waste of resources? You might as well bomb the fuck out of them. Like go full apocalypse now on their asses. I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Another thing I really, really didn't like was that Sabine uses the Force. Personally, I think she should have used her grappling hook or cable or whatever to retrieve her lightsaber in these fights. And it would have been cool to see her giving that grappling hook to Ezra to climb aboard the Star Destroyer. Also, for any Star Wars fans watching this, I know that George Lucas said that anybody can use the Force in Star Wars that they lack the training to use it effectively. The problem is though, it doesn't establish it here because general audiences and people who've only seen the films only assume that if you're related to the Jedi or are part of the Jedi Order, you can use the Force. Also, the series leaves more questions than answers in my opinion. 
Like I mentioned before, why didn't Thrawn just bomb the fuck out of them earlier? Also, how come he let Ezra live all this time if he knew where he was? Personally, I think the writing needs more improvement, and I wish we had more episodes as this series does seem a bit rushed. So overall, I did enjoy half of the series and dislike the other half. Like in my previous video on Ahsoka, I would personally recommend this series for diehard Star Wars fans, as they would enjoy it more, especially if they followed the Clone Wars and Rebels series. So I would give this series two and a half Lothal cats out of five. And that was the video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more videos just like this. And also, if you enjoy my work, support the channel at Coffee. And for those who don't know, Coffee is like Patreon, but based. There you can support me, and you can have your names in the credits. And if you do support me, thank you very much. I appreciate it very much. As usual, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Goodbye.